Welcome to another roller coaster disaster marathon. Brace yourselves as we dive into the second round of the most heart pounding incidents in theme park history. This edition features five more chilling tales that have never been covered on our channel before. Hold on tight because this spine tingling roller coaster disaster marathon is guaranteed to leave you on the edge of your seat. The first story takes us to Cedar Point Theme Park, situated in Sandusky, Ohio. It holds the distinction of being the second oldest operating theme park in America. Since its inception in 1870, the park has expanded to cover an area 147 hectares and now boasts 16 awe-inspiring roller coasters. This impressive collection has helped Cedar Point secure the Golden Ticket Award for the world's best amusement park for 16 consecutive years, from 1997 to 2013. Among Cedar Point's many attractions are five roller coasters that stand at least 200 feet or 61 meters in height, the Magnum XL200, Millennium Force, Top Thrill Dragster, Val Robin, and Steel Vengeance. These record-breaking rides make Cedar Point the only park in the world with such an impressive lineup. In September 1993, Cedar Fair Entertainment announced the construction of the Raptor, a steel inverted coaster designed by the renowned Swiss roller coaster manufacturers Bolliger and Mabillard. Upon its debut, the Raptor claimed the title of the tallest, fastest, and longest inverted roller coaster in the world. This groundbreaking ride also featured six inversions, including a Cobra roll, which marked a first for inverted coasters. In contrast to conventional roller coasters, where the train sits atop the track and riders are seated securely, an inverted coaster suspends its riders below the track. This innovative design creates an entirely different and exhilarating experience for thrill seekers. On August 13, 2015, the park welcomed around 25,000 visitors, including NBA basketball superstar LeBron James. For many employees and park staff, the presence of such a prominent sports figure would likely have been the most memorable event of the day. Unfortunately, tragedy struck, and the day took a somber turn that no one could have anticipated. Among the park's visitors that day was 45-year-old James Young from East Canton. His mother, Brenda Young, later revealed in a statement that her son, a high school guidance counselor, loved visiting Cedar Point at least once a year. The tragic events that unfolded that day would forever change the lives of the Young family and cast a dark shadow over the theme park. Theme parks worldwide enforce strict rules regarding loose items in riders' pockets, as they could potentially become projectiles, posing a danger to other riders. Despite these rules, many guests fail to comply, and accidents can occur. At approximately 4.50 p.m. that fateful day, Young boarded the Raptor roller coaster. During the nearly two-minute ride, the intense forces generated by the coaster caused Young's phone and wallet to break free from his pocket, plummeting to the ground below. Upon completing the ride, Young approached park staff, asking them to retrieve his belongings. The staff informed him that they could only do so at the end of the day for safety reasons. Faced with this response, Young made a split-second decision that would ultimately prove to be fatal. Spotting his lost items just beyond a safety barrier, he crossed into a restricted area directly beneath the raptor's path, most likely unaware of the approaching train. As he attempted to retrieve his belongings, the raptor suddenly passed overhead, its middle frame striking Young with catastrophic force. Emergency responders rushed to the scene, but the severity of Young's head injuries left them unable to save his life. He was tragically pronounced dead on sight. In the immediate aftermath, the park closed the raptor for an investigation. As expected, the ride was deemed safe and reopened in the following days. Although the primary responsibility for this accident lies with the victim, there are several factors worth considering. James Young Sr., the victim's father, expressed his belief that the fence should not have been so easy to climb. He acknowledged his son's mistake in crossing the barrier, but also questioned the adequacy of the park's safety measures. Cedar Point maintained that the fence met all required standards and that no changes to its height were necessary. Ken Martin, an amusement park safety consultant from Virginia, was not surprised by Cedar Point's refusal to modify the fence. He noted that doing so could inadvertently suggest that the fence was insufficient in the first place. However, it is essential to consider that at least six other similar fatalities have occurred involving individuals who ventured beneath an inverted coaster. For each person killed, dozens more have taken the same risk.
perhaps underestimating how low a train hangs on an inverted coaster and having a false sense of safety. Colleen Mangan, a spokeswoman for the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, emphasized the importance of personal responsibility when visiting theme parks. Most incidents, she pointed out, occur when guests do not follow the park's guidelines. The tragic events of August 13, 2015, serve as a sobering reminder of the inherent risks associated with thrill rides and the critical importance of adhering to safety rules and guidelines. The story of James Young's fateful decision to venture into a restricted area has been recounted numerous times since that day, both as a cautionary tale and a call for increased safety measures within amusement parks. While Cedar Point's incredible roller coasters continue to draw thrill seekers from around the world, the lessons learned from this tragedy must not be forgotten. Park operators, industry experts, and visitors alike must continually evaluate and improve safety measures to ensure that everyone can enjoy the adrenaline-pumping excitement of roller coasters without fear of harm. Visitors to Cedar Point and other theme parks should always remember the risks associated with ignoring safety guidelines. A momentary lapse in judgment, as demonstrated by James Young's tragic accident, can have devastating consequences. By respecting park rules, cooperating with park staff, and staying aware of their surroundings, guests can minimize the potential for accidents and enjoy the exhilarating thrill rides that parks like Cedar Point have to offer. As the story of James Young and Cedar Point reminds us, the pursuit of adrenaline-fueled thrills must always be balanced with a respect for safety and personal responsibility. The world's most daring roller coasters can provide unforgettable experiences for those who dare to challenge them, but the ultimate responsibility for ensuring that these adventures remain safe and enjoyable lies with each individual rider. In conclusion, the tale of Cedar Point and the Raptor roller coaster tragedy underscores the importance of adhering to safety guidelines when visiting amusement parks. The unfortunate fate of James Young serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers that can arise when guests fail to follow park rules. As thrill seekers continue to flock to Cedar Point and other amusement parks worldwide, it is crucial to remember the lessons learned from this tragedy. Reported a terrifying accident last year. The sun was shining brightly on the afternoon of August 12, 2022, as families and thrill seekers gathered at Legoland Deutschland Resort in Gunzburg, southern Germany. The park was bustling with energy and excitement as people eagerly explored the 107-acre theme park filled with intriguing Lego reproductions of various German cities and rural landscapes. However, this seemingly perfect day was about to take a dark turn. As guests queued for the notorious Fire Dragon roller coaster, little did they know that they were about to experience a terrifying ordeal that would leave 31 people injured and shake the entire nation. Built in 2002 by Zero GmbH in Degendorf, the Fire Dragon roller coaster was known for its exhilarating twists, turns, and speeds of up to 35 miles per hour along its 1,476 feet track. It was an adrenaline-inducing ride that attracted countless thrill seekers from near and far. As the first train of the roller coaster embarked on its journey, the passengers' screams of excitement filled the air, but their joy was short-lived. Suddenly, the train malfunctioned and came to an abrupt halt about 100 feet from the platform. Panic set in as the passengers realized they were trapped in a steel wreck nearly 20 feet off the ground. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to the occupants of the stalled train, another train filled with eager riders was released onto the track. The second train sped along, oblivious to the impending disaster. Within moments it collided with the stalled train, creating a scene of devastation and chaos. As the dust settled, the extent of the damage became clear. All 31 passengers from both trains were injured, with some suffering serious injuries. The wreckage was a tangled mess, and it was impossible to get people out of the train safely. Park staff struggled to reach the injured passengers to comfort them. The situation was so dire that the park management had to use loudspeakers to communicate with the trapped guests. Their words did little to ease the pain or quell the cries of the injured children and the screams of the terrified adults. Emergency crews arrived on the scene, faced with an incredibly challenging rescue operation. The complexity of the wreckage required special equipment and meticulous coordination. To make matters worse, the rescue workers could not reach the second train without moving it, which added more time and risk to the already precarious situation. In a desperate effort to save the injured passengers, 
three helicopters were called in to assist with the rescue operation. As the clock ticked by, the tense atmosphere in the park was palpable. The onlookers watched in horror, praying that the rescue mission would be successful. Finally, after nearly two hours, the last of the injured passengers was freed from the twisted wreckage. While all 31 people sustained injuries, there were no internal bleeding or life-threatening injuries, much to the relief of everyone involved. In the aftermath of the tragedy, an investigation was launched to determine the cause of the accident. Preliminary results pointed to a mechanical problem, with no criminal negligence on the park's side. However, the families of the victims were outraged that the park continued to operate normally after the incident. The memory of that fateful day continues to haunt those involved and serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safety in amusement parks. The next story takes us to Colorado. In the crisp autumn of 2021, the heart of Colorado was jolted by a tragedy that took the life of a vibrant six-year-old girl named Juan Gala Stefanos. She was visiting the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park with her family when disaster struck on the haunted Mind Drop roller coaster. The incident rippled through the community, leaving Juan's family and the public reeling in shock, searching for answers. As investigations revealed multiple operator errors and ignored warnings, shock turned to anger, and the story of the haunted Mind Drop disaster became etched in infamy. Juan Gala Stefanos was born in Aurora, Colorado, on June 4, 2015, to loving parents Stefanos and Rachel. She attended Stetson Elementary School in Colorado Springs, where she quickly became known for her bright smile, caring nature, and academic prowess. A family friend described her as a light in everyone's life, her many hobbies ranging from swimming and painting to watching Disney movies. The Stefanos family was close-knit and loving, always supporting one another. Due to the pandemic, the family hadn't ventured out for over two years. When restrictions finally lifted, they decided to take a much-needed vacation. On September 5th, 2021, they arrived at Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, accompanied by Juan's uncle, aunt, and cousins. Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park, situated 7,100 feet above sea level, boasts of being America's only mountaintop theme park. Among its many attractions, including America's first alpine roller coaster and a 4D cinema, is the Haunted Mind Drop Roller Coaster. This unique underground drop tower ride, which opened on July 31, 2017, accommodates six riders and plunges them 110 feet down a shaft in the ground. A press release described the ride as an immersive experience, complete with ghostly mining tales from days gone by. Stun Jackets, the attraction's designer, stated that the haunted mine drop was deliberately designed without a shoulder restraint to make the dramatic drop scarier. Instead, riders were secured with a seatbelt across their laps. At around 7.15 p.m. that fateful evening, Juan and her family boarded the ride. Her uncle, seated next to her, assumed that the ride operators had properly fastened her seatbelt. As the car began to move, the family braced themselves for the thrilling descent. As the ride reached the bottom of the 110-foot drop, Juan's uncle turned to ask her if she enjoyed the experience. To his horror, her seat was empty. Frantically looking around, he spotted her battered body at the bottom of the mine shaft. She had fallen the entire 110 feet sustaining multiple fractures, brain injuries, and internal and external lacerations. Juan's family screamed in anguish, attempting to exit the ride, but it was still in motion. The ride operators, unaware of the tragedy unfolding, brought the car back up to the top of the mine shaft. When they finally realized what had happened, emergency services were called, but it was too late. Juan was gone, and an investigation was launched. The findings of the investigation were shocking, Juan had not been wearing a seatbelt during the ride. She had been sitting in a seat that was vacant during the previous ride cycle, with the seatbelt still fastened. When she sat down, the belt was beneath her instead of across her lap. Investigators discovered that an alarm had signaled Juan wasn't restrained correctly, but an employee had reset the alert and started the ride anyway. The investigation also revealed that the two employees were not adequately trained by Glenwood and had only been on the job for three months. They were unsure how to react when the warning signal appeared, as they didn't even know what it meant. The park had also ignored two previous warnings from passengers not being strapped in correctly in 2018 and 2019. Much to the disappointment of Juan's parents, the ride operators were not charged. Juan's mother expressed her frustration, saying, 
Once again, our daughter's life has been treated as cheap and meaningless, first by the amusement park and now by the DA. We never wanted the people who killed our daughter to go to jail, but for the DA to let them off with nothing says our daughter's life was worth nothing. Following the investigation, the state of Colorado fined the park $68,000 for failing to properly train the staff members. The ride was closed and remains closed to this day. In April of 2022, however, the park announced plans to reopen the ride with added safety restraints. Steve Beckley, the founder of Glenwood Caverns, issued a statement offering condolences to the family. I am so sorry for their loss, he said. While I understand my words cannot touch their grief, my heart continues to ache for them. As I have said before, safety is and always has been our top priority. We have always put people, our guests and team members above all else. One accident is one too many, and we are taking steps to ensure that nothing like this can ever happen again. Juan's family held a private funeral for her at Colorado's Evergreen Cemetery. Her school also mourned her passing, releasing a statement expressing their shared grief with the family and the unimaginable loss they were experiencing. A GoFundMe campaign was set up to help the family with funeral costs, raising over $80,000 to date. A comment on the GoFundMe page read, Her parents, family, and all of the community are devastated by this tragic and sudden loss. We want all of the community to stand with the family during this unthinkable loss. A parent is not supposed to bury their child. And while there is still so much to learn about exactly what happened, the family is focused on their daughter and how they want the world to remember her. She inspires me, you know, and reminds me that tomorrow is not promised. The Haunted Mind Drop disaster is a harrowing reminder of the importance of safety regulations and the profound impact that such tragedies have on families and communities. Juan Gala Stefanos's bright spirit and loving nature will live on in the hearts of those who knew her, a poignant memory of a life cut tragically short. The next fatal accident takes us to another city in Germany. The Berlin Christmas Market was the center of another heartbreaking loss. On a cold November evening in 2019, the annual Berlin Christmas Market opened its gates to thousands of visitors. The famous event, held at a large car park on Landsberger Allee in northeast Berlin, was filled with the sights, sounds, and smells of the holiday season. Visitors were captivated by the endless winter stalls, twinkling lights, and the Berlin Winter Magic Fair, where a multitude of adventurous rides awaited them, including a roller coaster that would become the center of a tragic event. As families enjoyed the festive atmosphere, a sense of excitement and joy filled the air. Little did they know, this magical evening was about to take a devastating turn. On November 25, 2019, just two days after the market opened, a horrific accident occurred at the roller coaster in the fair section of the Christmas market. A man working as a roller coaster attendant was on duty when, for reasons still unknown, he found himself on the tracks or was crossing the tracks as the roller coaster train barreled towards him. The speeding train struck him, crushing him beneath it in full view of horrified spectators, including children. The scene that unfolded was both heartbreaking and chaotic. The sounds of screams and cries mixed with the festive music and laughter, creating a surreal and distressing atmosphere. The victim's family had to endure the terrible news during what was supposed to be a joyful time of year. Emergency services rushed to the scene, but it was too late for the roller coaster attendant. The tragedy left many witnesses traumatized, and a family of four, including two children who were on the train involved in the accident, required psychological assistance after witnessing the harrowing event firsthand. In the days following the incident, a police investigation ruled out foul play, but was unable to determine conclusively why the man was on the tracks as the train approached. The mystery of his presence on the tracks remains unsolved, leaving many questions unanswered. The Berlin Christmas Market accident along with the Legoland Deutschland Resort tragedy, serve as somber reminders of the potential dangers that can occur at amusement parks and fairs. They underscore the importance of safety measures and vigilance for both staff and visitors to ensure that such heartbreaking events are prevented in the future. Thank you for joining us on this harrowing journey through our roller coaster disaster marathon. We've explored some truly chilling incidents, shedding light on the importance of safety in the world of theme parks. As we conclude this spine-tingling ride, we hope that these stories serve as a reminder to always follow safety guidelines and be mindful of potential dangers.